Y'all, it's Easter and I bought some Vicky Souls patterns for 40% off. Come a little closer. Come a little closer. You didn't hear me. I purchased some patterns from Vicky Souls during their 40% off sale that was going on last week, okay? It ended over the weekend, all right? But if that's some content you would like to see, please continue to watch. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video I'm gonna share with you guys nine Vicky Souls patterns that I picked up. Yes, so that means I picked up PDF patterns but one thing I will mention is Vicky Souls was on sale for 40% off and the patterns that I picked up I picked them up and I also spent three dollars for the hat. Yes, yes. So most of these patterns I picked up for roughly about four dollars doing their 40 breaths and all sell <laughs> it was a steal and then paid three dollars for the hack okay so a lot of these patterns that i'm going to show you it has a hack with them and your girl will be doing a lot of these hacks okay for the pattern to get something else because a lot of you guys probably just kind of sew the patterns out of the envelope without the hack all right but if you are new to the channel oh welcome hello child guten tag aloha hola konnichiwa waguan samanani salon by jor tarve if you're returning you guys know what to do quick snack something to drink grab the notebooks because you may want to write down the patterns that i picked up but if you open up the description box they're already there, all right? So without further ado, to keep this video short, sweet, give you all the deets and the news that you can use on this video, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so I picked up nine patterns. Um, for this one, I picked up two pairs of pants or shorts, more like shorts. I picked up um, one top. I also picked up dress two dresses i picked up three blazers and then i picked up kind of like one lingerie homewear type shorts or whatnot so i'm gonna put the patterns that i picked put up on the screen so you're able to see that as well but first let's talk about the ruth shorts all right so the first pattern that i picked up is the ruth shorts and the reason why i picked this up is because this pattern reminds me of vogue 2014 all right now, what, if you missed my video of the patterns that I picked up during the simplicity.com 70% off sale that was going on last week um, and ended on the 30th, 31st, uh, it ended on the 31st on Easter, by the way, my apologies. I mentioned in my video when I talked about, let's talk about transitioning from winter to spring, I talked about, this was in the top and the pants uh, section, the bottom of my body. All right, so it was in that uh, video, which I'll put up on the screen right here, as well as in the description box below. But I talked about how I was gonna be doing Vogue 2014. However, on the Simplicity website, it was a glitch. I did not pick the pattern up during the glitch. However, I did get the DVF pattern during the glitch, okay? so. Simplicity realized it was a glitch and many, 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 many of us got the DVF pattern for $8, about $8 and some change. I got mine for $8.67 um, for that DVF pattern. The next morning, all Vogue patterns were back up to 20 something dollars. I'm not gonna spend that when I know I could wait for Joanne for $5.99, $6.99, or $7.99, whatever they're gonna change the price to because they will be changing it. So I decided to go ahead and pick up the Ruth as a backup just in case that Vogue 2014, which I'll put up on the screen, is not available when I get ready to sew. So this is the Ruth, um, pan, Ruth pair of shorts. And just, uh, this is a semi-fitted pair of shorts with front pleats, it has waistline and side seam pockets with the flaps, and then the back is fitted with waist darts, okay? So the waist darts are V-shaped, overlapping at the front and fastens with a hook and bar closure on the inside of that. Now the shorts also features a cuff 
and buttons and button holes as well at the top of that waistband. Now, don't forget that these pair of shorts is a fly front zipper, which I do have a video on how to sew a fly front zipper in less than 10 minutes, okay? So I'll drop that in the description box below as well as on the end screen, okay? And I'll put it up right here so you're able to see that. All right, now one thing I will mention with Vicky Sew's pattern is take your measurements in centimeters, okay? I know in the US we normally do it in inches, but I'm going to say take your measurements when you get ready to purchase a Vicky Sew pattern. If you have never purchased one before, take your measurements in centimeters and then go by the centimeters. Now, I am 5'6", so I fall in kind of like the middle portion of like the one, I think it's like 167 to 170, I think something like that in centimeters. I can't remember, but that's the one that I purchased. So um, in terms of kind of like for tops, I go by my bust measurements in centimeters and anything that have to do with the bottom, I go with my waist measurements in centimeters. And that's how you're gonna pick your patterns when dealing with Vicky Sews, all right? But this is the Ruth short. Let's talk about the next pattern that I picked up, which is the Tammy short. So for the Tammy short, it's a pair of straight cut style shorts. It has like elastic waistband. It has front patch pockets there. The pockets and hem features like decorative top stitching if you want that. And these Tammy shorts are kind of like mid hip length for sure. So they're pretty short, but you can always make them longer to suit your fancy, all right? So one thing I wanna also mention with Vicky Sew Pattern, it comes in an AO file for you to send to the print shop. So it comes in a letter an A4 and an AO uh, pattern. Another thing with Vicky Sew Patterns, it has pictures throughout the entire instruction. So you're not just reading like the instructions and I'll show you guys what it looks like for the instructions for the pattern as well. Um, but the instructions are very easily written as well for the Vicky Sew Patterns as well. So it doesn't leave you with just kind of like being mind blown on how to read these instructions. Um, as well now it is not a uh so for going back to the ruth shorts it's an e intermediate to sew pattern and for the tammy shorts it is suitable for beginners as well all right but th that is the next pattern that i picked up moving over to the next pattern that i picked up it is the nuala sweatshirt now with this nuala sweatshirt it is to accompany the tammy shorts all right so this one is also suitable for beginners as well, which I do like that. And it's basically a loose fitting sweatshirt. It has shape front and back and a round neckline finished with a ribbing, uh, a ribbing, ribbon um, neckband. Let me rephrase that. I cannot talk today. It is a ribbed uh, neckband. So, I mean, if you do not want to do kind of like that ribbed, uh, neckband, you can use Ponte knit if you want to as well. Um, with this one, it does feature kind of like a raglan sleeve, long or sh short sleeve to suit your fancy. And then it also features a cuff and waistband at the very bottom. You can use rib knit for that, or you can use Ponte knit for that as well. Just make sure that they state that the approximate sewing time for this is four hours, but definitely go at your own pace for this one as well. Um, and it's basically rated in so many different sizes. This one right here, it does have kind of like a hack um, for this one, which is why I picked it up. But definitely, 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 I am excited for this pattern, all right? So that is the Nuala sweatshirt. Moving over to the next pattern is the Agnesa, Agnesa dress. Now you guys, I am struggling to pronounce a lot of these names, so just bear with me if I pronounce it wrong, I'm trying. All right, so it's, I think it's Agnesa or Agnesa, I'm trying. All right, so it's a dress. And this one reminds me of kind of like a simple slip dress, right? So with this uh, dress, it is a close fitting dress. It has waist seam and adjustable spaghetti straps. It's more kind of like your lounge, uh, lingerie inspired corset style dress. Now, you know, your girl don't like corsets, 
but I did like this dress when I looked at it on Vicky so so that's why I went ahead and picked it up now the silhouette is shaped with front and back princess dark the skirt is cut on the bias it's not a straight skirt it is more of like a bias uh, skirt as well now the dress is finished with a free hanging lining and um, it has a an invisible back center zipper in the back okay so this dress is also above ankle length as well it states that this dress will take about 16 hours to complete which is about two days all right give or take it just depends on how fast and how slow you sew as well all right but this is the agnesa i think is how you pronounce it dress moving over to the next one and for this one it is an intermediate sew as well Moving over to the next dress is the Buffy dress. And for this one, um, basically the reason why I picked it up is because who don't need this dress for summer? I'm just saying. All right, so let's get into the dress. It is a close fitting dress. It, it has a slight flare at the bottom. The dress have waist seams and non-adjustable uh, spaghetti straps. So make sure when you do this dress, your strap is in place. Now, if you remember when I did the live and I did a slip dress, which was new look 6653. When I say those damn straps, <laughs> those strap almost took your girl out. I was ready. I was getting ready to be in and out on that live in like two hours but those straps gave me the blues so i just want to say make sure your strap is there secure to where you don't have any flopping going down everything is setting up at attention and doing what they need to do all right also with this dress um the bodice and the skirts are fitted with bust and waist darts and the front skirt features a left side princess seam with a slit as well. Now the approximate time for sewing is roughly about eight hours is what they're stating on Vicky Sew website, which is approximately a day to sew. So it seemed like this dress would be a fast sew. It is also suitable for beginners, all right? But this is the Buffy dress. Moving over to the next pattern that I picked up. So the next pattern that I picked up is the Rihanna and the Rihanna is a blazer. So it is a semi fitted blazer. It also comes with a hack as well. It is a straight silhouette. Um, it has like a tight belt that kind of stitch in that waist as well. Bust darts like you would normally have. Um, but the bust dart is transferred to the shoulder seam. So if you remember when I did new look 6035, one of my favorite patterns for a blazer, it has a um, dart at the shoulder seam. So this pattern features that same detail as well. I'll drop new look 6035 that sew along in the description box below. I think I have done this sew along a total of three times okay so the one that i would say to go with is the one in the white but i will put all three links in the description box below so you can see how many times i actually kind of sewed this pattern i think it's a total of five but we're not stating new look 6035 all right now back to this pattern the rihanna uh blazer the front features patch pockets which is also optional if you want that or not it has flaps it has belt loops the back features shoulder darts and one belt loop in the center the rihanna also has a classic notch lapel collar and long two-piece satin sleeves if you want to do if you do the satin sleeves as well well you, they have to be set in um the rihanna also has a center front fastener with two buttons and but button holes and the blazer is partially lined and is below the hip length for sure now the approximate sewing time for this one is approximately two days i could definitely see more than two days for this one because between the cutting um the pattern pieces cutting the fabric and get it started i would definitely say i would not i'm saying like the sewing time could be two days but i would definitely say i would take about a week for a pattern like this. This is an advanced to sew pattern, all right? Moving over to the next pattern that I picked up is the Adelaide uh, pattern. So for this pattern, this pattern has been on my list for a very long time. I just been waiting for like a 
literally 70% off sale. We're not going to talk about that. But anyway, I've been waiting for a really good sale in order to get this pattern. And I mean, at $5.70, it's not that bad for that. Okay. Um, with this pattern, the Adelaide is a semi fitted line blazer, which has a nice, uh, accentuated waist. It has side panels at the front and the back. The back of the blazer is fitted with waist darts as well as center, uh, seaming as well. So center seaming means there's a seam going down the center of the, uh, back. Now the shaping at the front is achieved with vertical bust darts that go down to the welt pockets with the flaps. And then the shoulder line is extended as well. The long set and two piece sleeves have faux button vents in the elbow seams. So that elbow area has faux leather if you want that feature. It also features a shawl collar with shaped lapel and fastens with button and button holes at the center front. And the blazer is below hip length. So that is the Adelaide blazer. I love the color that the model is wearing. Um, but in terms of sewing <laughs> this blazer, they stay 24 hours or three days. Listen, I'm gonna say give it at least a week till we can have with a blazer like this, you do not want to rush it, okay? It'll be there, all right? But this is the Adelaide blazer. Let's get over to the last blazer that I picked up. So the last blazer that I picked up is the Fernanda blazer. And once again, this uh, blazer is a semi-fitted line blazer with a accentuated waist. And just kind of like the Adelaide blazer, it features pretty much the same thing. It has the side panels at the front and the back. The back of the blazer is shaped with shoulder and waist darts, as well as a center back seam as well. Um, the shaping at the front is achieved with the vertical bust dart, same as the Adelaide, that transition into double welt pockets with flaps. The welt chest pocket on the left side as well and the long set in sleeves are made up of two pieces. The blazer has a turned down notch collar, which is unlike the Adelaide uh, blazer that I just showed you. And that notch collar is also has a collar stand. One thing that, you know, I like about the Ferdinanda is that it has double breasted buttons and button hole closure and is below the hip length for sure. So I really like this pattern. I think for me, I would make it a little bit longer to completely, you know, you know, have it a little long for sure and <laughs> cover up the bootay. All right. Um, and the last pattern that I picked up is more of like a lingerie style pattern and it is the Abra or Abra. I'm going to say Abra, Abra. Hey, bro. <laughs> all right. So it is the Abra shorts. All right. And this one is basically like your boxer briefs basically is what it is. Now I know you like, girl, why you, why you put this pattern up? All right. So listen, I picked this pattern up because I am one who loves some boxer briefs going to bed with a tank top. Um, I know a lot of people probably wear, wear lingerie and all of that good stuff, but listen, my kids love to lay in the bed with me at night. Yes, 14, soon to be 14 in a few weeks at almost nine. And my kids love to come in on a Saturday morning and lay across the bed and we watch TV until I make breakfast and stuff like that. So that means you need to be covered. So with that being said, I love to wear boxer briefs because it's short and it's covering my entire body. Okay. Including a tank top or a t-shirt. Okay. So that's why I picked it up, but let's get into what this pattern is. The Abra is a um, pair of straight cut semi fitted shorts with no side seams whatsoever. It's what no side seam. <laughs> Who would have known? Now this Abra short features grown on elastic waistline or waistband. The elastic is secured inside the waistband with rolls of top stitching. The shorts have a mock fly. Let me repeat that for the people in the back. A mock fly. What is a mock fly? A mock fly means a fake fly front. Okay. It means that the fly front is not functional. 
mock or mock up means a test, right? So basically this is not a real fly front. All right. Now the mock fly features buttons and button holes. So you will have to do button holes. You will have to add on buttons, but it's not a fly front zipper or a fly front button button closure or whatever. So, so just to let you guys know that now these shorts is above the mid length of your hip. All right. So it's basically mid hip length for sure for this one. Now, in terms of kind of like the sewing time for this, they estimate eight hours or one day. I think that's about right for this. All right. So those are all nine patterns that I picked up during the Vicky Sew sale that was on sale last week for 40% off. Well, those are all the patterns that I picked up. I hope you enjoy it. Let me know in the comment section below which ones were your favorite. I would love to hear it. Um, but if this video was educational, inspiring, and fun, please do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, also smash that notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So I'll catch you in the next video, and as always, keep sewing. Talking money, don't talk to me. Uh, I be over here where the bosses be. Uh, pockets on thick, cause I eat my greens. Uh, way too hot, 3000 degrees. No pictures, please. Cameras flashing, I'm VIP, I'm a big.